Hey everybody, it's Perez. You're sitting next to Joey Lawrence, and I have to ask, it's it's still Joey, right? It's, it's still not Joey. Joseph no, it's still or Joey. Joe. Lawrence. You're on a on a show now that has your name in the title. I know, man. Joey. Joey, exactly. Uh, and and congrats on that because I actually just wrote the show got picked up for a bunch more episodes. It's crazy. We're, we're we're doing 30 episodes our first season, which that's, is really that's unheard of. It's unheard of. It's, I think it's the largest like comedy pickup ever for any ABC's network, like ABC proper. ABC for any network, network. Yeah. They usually it's like 22, 22, like maybe that. 26, maybe if like you're really doing great we got 30 which is especially in this climate you know that's pretty crazy so we're very happy we'll and it, are the majority of the viewers the ladies that maybe grew up watching I so. you I mean, back I think then it's, yeah i think it's you know it's I, I think they're they've been they've been tracking it's like you know the 18 to 34 which would pretty much be 18 to 35 something like that and, and you know we're, we're actually getting a lot of guys too you know because the characters i i i played in things on tv were not like the pretty boys, they were like you know the guys. Guys were googling the you know the boobs and all you know. It was, it was always that kind of a guy. So you know there was a lot of male fans there too. But I think so. I think it's a lot of people that sort of grew up with me and stuff. You know, and it's our age now. And so. in the show, you're also starring uh, opposite Melissa Joan Hart, Joan Hart, who's had a long career herself. Yeah, man. Have you worked with her in the past? No, never. Did you know with her? her? I did know her. Um, you know, we had just sort of always been around and stuff. Who but... came to the project first? I think we, you know, we had done that, that uh, TV movie together. You had which was for my, ABC Family. For ABC Family, which is called. Oh, so my that was like a pilot, but not really. It was exactly. Just to see if it were, oh, exactly. Interesting. So, I and did the not movie, know that. And the movie ended up like becoming their biggest movie ever. So they said, "Look, you guys are really good together when it comes to the comedy, and we are." I don't know whether it would translate into any other medium, but in in this particular medium, in, in the half hour comedy. There's sort of a rhythm that has to go with that, you know, there's like banter back do and forth. Do you film in front of a live we studio audience? We do, we went old school. How vintage, I love it. It's, you know what, dude, it really is cool. I mean, they're, they're, they've are so gotten away from that, except for like Two and a Half Men and a couple of these shows that are big. How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Not that many, yeah. Not that, not that many, but I'll tell you, it's coming back because I think the art form is very relevant, I mean, in, in terms of what it represents, which is, it's like theater in a box. That's what it was intended to be 60 years ago, and I think that... There will always be room for the single camera comedy and for the reality thing, but I think the half hour comedy in front of a live audience is absolutely like popcorn. Together, they're raising a new kind of family. How did you talk her into going down there? I paid her 50 bucks. A bribe? But think about it. I mean, you yourself have been acting since the early 80s. I know. Would you ever do Broadway? Because I don't know if you have. I did do Broadway. You did? I did. I was did. it a while ago? I did, did you do? I, did, I did Chicago in 2008. Oh, okay. Six, yeah, six, yeah. Six Chicago. Months. It was it was a lot of fun. I get asked to do that a lot. You know, it's weird. I don't. I, I it would have to be the right role. Like that for me was kind of a cool role because I was able to do this sort of Sinatra thing with it, and I could sing the big. You band were Billy stuff. Flynn. I was Billy Flynn. Okay, I love and that show. It was a great show, and we did it. You know, for six months, it was awesome. I got a lot of respect for those people because I was burned Eight out. Eight shows a week. Dude, yeah, it was. I mean, you have no life, dude. You literally you wake up, and because it's a musical, you can't even get away with like with like blowing it out the night before. Because if you do, you have no voice and you can't sing. So one of the other things you did in, in your long career is you released some music. Are you still are you still working on tracks? We're actually doing something really exciting that uh, I know it's cli cliche to, to say that you can't talk about it, but we something is happening that's really crazy cool. And uh, meaning I'll be able to talk about music musically. Meaning like working with one particular yes. producer that's meaning, really meaning cool. Meaning teaming teaming up with you know a a the the perfect grouping of people that I think are gonna blow people away when they hear about it. And if when and come you back do release yes. more music, it'll be next year. That we'll do, what kind do you do? You want to make well, pop, pop music? I'm again? a pop R&B guy, so you know it'll be it'll be that that um, you know that urban pop crossover thing. I mean that's where I that's what I grew up loving. Well, good, I look forward to seeing that. Thanks, thanks, thanks.